we now know more about a story that's getting national attention and one that we've been covering all week. Court documents shedding new light on how deadliest catch star Jake Harris ended up in a Western Washington hospital with a fractured skull. xy 4s Caroline Rourke working for you. And Caroline, Jake's brother posted a Facebook video about that beating. It went viral. Did that help the case? It did, Nadine. Court documents we accessed today say that the high media coverage of this case provided police with several tips that led to the arrests. Jake Harris was hospitalized after Everett police found him on the side of the road with what was later determined to be a fractured skull. This video, made by Jake's brother Josh, was posted on Facebook over the weekend. In it, Josh implicates a man and woman from Spokane as the people responsible for the attack. But we found them, and this individual happens to be one of them. And I can't really tell, can't really see it that well, but this guy is from Spokane, Washington. Turns out he was right. Everett police confirmed with Harris that those were the suspects, and on Tuesday, Spokane police arrested 29-year-old Jarrell Fultz and 30-year-old Amanda Ritter. Court documents say that the three met the day before the assault at a casino near Everett. They exchanged numbers and met up again the next day at a different casino. They left the casino together, stopping at a Rite Aid along the way. While Fultz went inside, Harris got out to smoke a cigarette. Ritter locked him out of every seat but the front passenger when he tried to get back in the car, putting him in perfect position to be attacked from behind when Fultz got back inside. Harris was unconscious when he was thrown from the car. He says when he woke up, Fultz and Ritter were long gone. His wallet and $2,400 gone with them. They beat him up and then threw him on the side of the freeway, left him for dead. Court docs say that Harris's testimony indicates that the robbery was pre-planned, that Ritter intentionally locked Harris out so that he had no choice but to sit in the front. The two were booked into the Spokane County Jail, but Ritter has since been moved to Snohomish County. Fultz now facing an assault charge, and Ritter confessed to that robbery. First-degree robbery charges are being referred for both. In studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOY4 News. Thank you, Caroline.